Welcome back to my channel. It's Chantal V. Today we will be doing just a moisturizing cream for my hair. So if you want to stay tuned and see what's going on, just stick around. Here we go. Alright, so I will be doing using um, some shea butter, some coconut oil. I have um, two types of aloe vera I will, will be using. So those two are the two types of aloe vera and also some glycerin. So that is all my ingredients. If you can see, I'm about to show you on the glycerin. It shows you, you no know, helps repair hair and skin. So damage and dry skin and hair. So yeah, it's really beneficial to your hair and your skin, right? So um, I'm going to just the shea butter that I have, I'm just scooping it out and dumping it in the bowl, you know, nothing out the normal. So basically I'm going to just be throwing everything in the bowl and mixing it up. So here we are, just trying to put it all in there. So uh, while that's going on, um, I recently, of course, if you've seen my last videos, I take, I took out my um my knotless braids so with me i had a whole lot of shedding like a bunch i like i could fit a glob of my hair that came out in my hand like it was ridiculous i almost cried but um of course it's from postpartum so postpartum shedding postpartum hair loss that's what i've been experiencing um if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm sure you heard me say something about me trying to regrow my edges. So, um, for the most part, my edges are coming back in. And I have been using this um, oil that I made and the grease. So, if you want me to know to make a another video of my homemade oil, my DIY oil, and the grease, let me know. And I will be so happy to share that with you guys because, like I said... Um, my edges fell out when, let me see, in like two months ago, and they're starting to grow back. So, I'm just so happy because I did not like that. So, as you see, I'm just putting everything in the bowl still. So, I'm putting in the um, coconut oil. I've been just, I just put in a few scoops. I really didn't measure out anything. I just basically, you know, to my liking, just with the you know, smoothness and everything. So, that's what I'm that's what I'm doing here. So just trying to get everything in the bowl. So um, I will be using this. I'm going to put. Well, I tried. I tried a wash and go. I have like four B, four C kind of sort of hair. I kind of got all the fours in my hair. So I was going to do a wash and go, but as I you know raked it through, of course I have to train my hair. I have not trained my hair, so I have to train it to, you know, to do what I wanted to do. So, I'm just going to do probably some two-strand twists. Something, you know, low maintenance and something that's going not going to be pulling on my scalp or on my hair. So, it'll be easy for me to grease it, um, moisturize it, keep it moisturizing, etc. So, yeah, I'm just putting everything in a bowl. Kind of just kind of trying to you know, mash up that coconut oil. I didn't want to warm it up. I was just being lazy, honestly. So I'm just gonna, um, just trying to get most of the chunks out because the little mixer that I was gonna use, I was just gonna use like a little whisk, but it's um connected to the hand mixer. So I was just trying to, and it's 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 a little, it's not as, I guess, tough as the other ones. It's a little flimsy like one. I don't know. I mean, it did what it needed to do. So, here we are. Just, you know, just, I'm just trying to make sure it's all in there for the most part before I um, start whisking it with the hand mixer. So, we're just going to do that. And when I say this is something um, I used before, it's been a while for me to use it. I forgot I had shea butter. <laughs> I forgot I had shea butter in my, um, in my, you know, stash of natural hair stuff. So here I am. No, here you go. Just mixing everything up. And it was just, 
it wouldn't sit still it was kind of moving everywhere because i guess because the oil and the um the bowl just so but hey it came out real creamy like i wanted it so something that's easy to apply to your hair so just you know, mixing it all up here so i will be throwing out a um i will do a lymph check um would I even lymph check? I, yeah, I haven't really seen my length. So what I would do is record a video before I put my two strands in. Show you my length. Um, I will have a picture. I'll put a picture of like all the hair that fell out. This last time I just took my hair out. So you guys can see like how much of my hair fell out. And then of course we're going to do. I'm going to try to do my oils and the grease. For maybe a month. And we're going to see you know. Um, have my thickness came back because it's mostly my thickness that I'm losing of course because I'm losing strands it's not like split ends or nothing so it's like my hair is growing out long now but I'm losing thickness which I don't like and there is the finished product there after I, you know, I finished mixing it up so I did go ahead and um, throw some vitamin E oil in there because I did figure I had some so I was like, let me go ahead and throw a little bit of that in there. So just putting that in there. I was trying to, sitting there trying to um, do that. Oh, and, oh my goodness, it's Brazilian nut oil. I love it. It smells, it smells wonderful. Oh my God. It smells so good. I was trying to get it to focus, but it wouldn't focus. So that's why my hand <laughs> is in front of the screen. But um between that and it kept my it keeps my hair so like just moist and how I want it I was like of course I gotta throw that in there so that's what I was doing putting a little of that in there along with all the other things I was putting in there so um like I said I was I will be doing just you know trying to see if I can get all uh, my hair to do what I wanted to do I'm not going to get it braided up for probably a few months I probably won't get it braided back before again until like the new year honestly um because the last two times i got my hair braided that was like the first time i had my hair braided in any type of box braids individuals whatever you want to call them for uh, some years usually i used to just do the crochet and i just oh my two strands and that's it i need to you know broaden my horizon with my hairstyles but i'm i don't for, i don't like people in my hair and i'm not a hairstylist so I do what I can do, and that's it. So you see how cream? Oh my goodness, look at it! it looks like cake batter or something. I don't know, butter or something. It's just real creamy and smooth. So when I don't know, of course, apply it. That'd be great. So that is what it looks like the finished product. Like look at it. It's so creamy. Of course, I was sitting there talking to my mom. She was like, "Got some for me, right?" Like, yeah, I'm gonna give you some of this. So. That is, that is just my, you know, my little moisturizing cream I like to make. Um, adding the Brazilian nut um, oil in is something new that I um, started. So, there it is. Like, yeah. So, that is my moisturizing cream. That I made with the Shea Moisture, I mean Shea Moisture, Shea Butter. So, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know. See you guys later. Bye.